नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो वील बिल्ड अ कपल ऑफ बेस्ड लाइन्स यूजिंग डमी रिग्रेशन एंड परम्यूटेशन टेस्ट कोर ए पी आईज वील कंपेर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अर लिनियर रिग्रेशन मॉडल विथ दीज टू बेस्ड लाइन्स we begin by importing the necessary libraries here there are two additional libraries that we have imported one is dummy regressor that is implemented as part of sklearn dot dummy module and then we have permutation test score that is that is imported from sklearn dot model selection module just like last collab we'll use shuffle split as our cross validation strategy and we we come up with 10 folds and in each fold the test size is 0.2 that is 20% examples are set aside as test examples we load the california housing dataset and split it into training and test using train test split api we'll first build our linear regression classifier based on what we studied in the last collab we set up a pipeline containing the feature scaling that helps us to scale all the features on the same scale and then we use the linear regression estimator for for training the the linear regression model with the transform feature set obtained via standard scaling then we perform the the training of this particular estimator through cross validation we use shuffle split cv as a cross validation strategy and we obtain the scores based on negative mean absolute error we convert the scores obtained through cross validation into errors by multiplying them by minus 1 so we now have test scores stored in linear regression error series so dummy regressor can be built using different strategies and for that we define a uh, a function where we take strategies and input constant value and quantile values as additional inputs that are default that are set to default arguments of none the constant value is used in constant strategy while as quantile value is used in the quantile strategy in constant you are going to use the value specified by the user in in the constant argument whereas in case of quantile we we generally use that quantile as a, a predicted value as specified by the user so here we we instantiate the dummy regressor object with strategy constant and quantile values as specified by the user then we build the then we train this dummy regressor using cross validation based training and we finally convert the scores obtained in cross validation to errors by multiplying them by minus 1 and storing them in the in the panda series so here we train four different dummy regressor based lines using strategies that is median mean constant and in constant will predict always the the value 2 and in quantile will will predict the point 55th point 55 that is 55th quantile for uh, of of the and in quantile strategy you have specified the quantile 0.55 as the value as the predicted value let us compare performance of these dummy regressors we concatenate all the all the errors series that we obtain through different strategies and we are plotting them so on on x axis we have mean absolute error and on y axis we have frequency so this is some kind of a histogram of the of the errors 
and we have four different types of errors obtained through median strategy, mean strategy, constant strategy and quantile strategy. So you can see that the mean strategy has, has the worst error whereas median strategy seems to have better error. So median, median strategy and quantile strategy because we use quantile of 0.55 which is close to median and median is quantile 0.5. So median and this quantile strategy that we have have better performance than the other strategies. Now we build the second baseline model based on permutation test score. Permutation test score permutes the target to generate randomized data and computes the empirical p-value against the null hypothesis that features and targets are independent. Here we are interested in permutation score written by this API which indicates the score of models on different permutation. So permutation test score takes estimator, training, training feature matrix, training labels, the cross validation strategy, scoring and number of permutations as argument. Here we have set number of permutations to 30. So here what happens is that there are 30 different permutations that are computed and for each permutation we perform cross validation based training and we obtain the permutation score. So we multiply this permutation score by minus 1 in order to obtain permutation error and we store that in a panda series object. Now that we have three different linear regression model, one which is based on linear regression classifier, second is based on, based on dummy regressor and third is based on the permutation test score. So we use median series strategy in dummy regressor for this comparison. So we concatenate all these errors in a pandas data frame and plot histograms. So you can see that our model performs definitely better than the two baselines. Our mean squared error is, is, is much smaller compared to the, the baseline models. The permutation error has, has worse performance among these three models whereas dummy regressor performs slightly better than the permutation test score. Going forward, we'll be using dummy regressor more as our baseline. Our model performance is also far from being ideal, but it is definitely better than the other two baselines because we have got much lesser mean absolute error than these two baselines. So in summary, we implemented a couple of baselines based on dummy regressor and permutation test score. Now we, have, now we have a good idea about how to build a baseline for any of the linear regression models. So we can use two strategies, either based on dummy regressor or use permutation test score. In this collab, we used all strategies for dummy regressor. In practice, however, we just need to use the strategy that makes sense for that particular dataset. That's it from this demonstration.